So, what are your impressions of Radzatan? There's a lot of mortals. Considering your origin, I can see why that might be your first observation. Though they would call each other people, I think. If you wish to know about our fair city, I should be glad to place a guide at your disposal. No need. I'll show myself around. There's only so much about my home I can share with you in return, after all. While I remember some few tales of the past, I cannot speak to their authenticity. But if that is enough, then I will tell you of the events that saw darkness engulf our world. The Contra Memoria. We are all ears. Please. Long ago, light filled the world and all was at peace. But then the servants of darkness came, and they bequeathed a black art unto men. Channeling the power of hope and prayer, one could call forth fearsome beings known as Eidolans. The Asians. And these Eidolans are surely primals. Then you have faced the same, and understand that when an Eidolon is birthed, strife follows. And in such strife, the weak are the first to suffer. When it seemed the world would be plunged into chaos, heroes appeared. They were blessed with a singular power, the power to bind the ether of Eidolans within crystals known as Memoria. My mother was one such Memoriate, but in fighting to save many, she herself was touched by darkness, as was I. And so you were born part void sent, before the world was overcome. How exactly did that calamity come to pass? Did the Memoriates not triumph? They did. They expunged the seeds of chaos and restored the peace, only to find themselves seduced by the darkness they had sealed. They spread the taint, transforming men into monsters, what you call void scent, and raised armies to wage new wars. Not the first to be corrupted by power, nor the last. Some defied temptation and held fast to the light. My mother and I among them. For years and years we fought, but it was not enough. And when our strength was spent, our bulwarks broken, so too was the world. The Flood of Darkness. The stars faded from the heavens as a pall black as pitch enveloped creation. Darkness raged unchecked, rending the very walls of reality. I was cast into the rift, and there trapped for what felt like an eternity. Until I came upon a crack. Tiny, infinitesimal, but enough for me to squeeze through. And find my world changed beyond recognition. Into the lightless waste you saw. So that is how you were able to escape becoming a void scent in full. I suppose I should consider myself fortunate. Were I like most others, I wouldn't have lasted a day before being devoured. We, the lost, are better equipped to survive in a lost world. A 
A lost world, you say? I wouldn't be so sure. The Thirteenth is still there, is it not? What are you getting at? To explain requires that we initiate you into the truth of the Source and its reflections. Be warned that this will take a while. Then, unlike the worlds that have been rejoined, mine still... The Oracle of Light prevented the first from being completely overcome, so the situation may not be completely identical to that of your thirteenth. But the fact remains that we were able to restore a measure of balance to a world brought to the brink of destruction which gives me cause to hope there may be a way to restore light and life to the 13th. Of course, these are only possibilities. I offer no guarantees. But having experienced what we have, I dare say we are more qualified than most to speak on the matter. Wait, I don't understand. Why would you say these things? As if you mean to. But the sole reason you came to the Void was... To find a dragon, aye. And in light of what we've seen, we'd be fools to strive for more. But we Scions, former Scions, begging your pardon, have a habit of not leaving well enough alone. And old habits die hard, don't they, my friend? Restoring the light would serve our efforts to find and free Ashdaya. There is no reason not to try. Do as you will. I have no desire to save that world. Be that as it may, we will have need of your power when next we face Void Scent. You know how it works. If you want my help, you must pay my price. And now that you've drawn Golbez's attention, it's going to cost you more. A lot more. I will consider this a deposit.
first, Scarmiglione. And now, Barbariccia. Useless, the both of them. It was no lie. They conspire with a memoria. And their search for the dragon will lead them here. The war looms nigh. We cannot allow these interlopers to interfere. If I may, my lord, I have a plan to eliminate them. In order to guarantee its success, however, I will require Kanyanzo's cooperation. Now there's sport to be had, then I'll play along. As much as I dislike following your lead, I have no patience for screaming. Well and good to have confidence, but do not forget the cost of failure. Rest assured, I will see the dream to fruition. Even should I be consumed by my own flames, I will pave the way for one and all. Then I will trust in your oath and your plan. We will give you cause to rejoice, my lord. This I vow. Ha <laughs> Some excitement for a trip! No sacrifice is too great, even should my four archfiends be lost, I will not halt my steps. The prison of passivity is an obstacle to my cause, and so you must fall. What? Irony that the blessed damned should set us free. As I swore so long ago. The gate lies open. At long last, my ambition shall be fulfilled! <laughs>